Fueled by anger, protests have been escalating on Capitol Hill. Even though it's been two days since the Capitol Hill organized protest zone was shut down, the clashes with police appear to be continuing. Kiera Fallen is live this morning with what happened last night on Capitol Hill. Kiera? Yeah, good morning. Well, what happened last night or overnight, there were at least 10 arrests, but many of those protesters still here. I guess when I say many, I mean actually less than a dozen still here. So those numbers are dwindling, but earlier on this morning, uh, we were seeing maybe a more aggressive morning than we saw the previous day. So some of these protesters have been here all night and into this morning. Yellow tape and police separate protesters from those areas that are off limits. Overnight, police had several confrontations with protesters. At least 10 people were arrested. A tweet from SPD says bottles, rocks and fireworks were thrown at them at Broadway and Pine. Police did issue a dispersal order at that intersection at one point. In many cases, SPD had to push the crowd back and they did use pepper spray. So back out here live again, the situation pretty peaceful for the past couple hours. It's been pretty peaceful, but if anything changes, we'll let you know the very latest right here on King 5 News. For now, I'm live here from Capitol Hill, Kiara O'Fallon, King 5 News. Thank you, Kira. It's been about 48 hours since Seattle police moved in to clear the chop zone, and since then, crews have been working to clean the streets, trying to wrap up a lot of the work yesterday. Two weeks ago, I mean, I saw the, the, the umbrellas and the tear gas. So I, it, between that and this, it's completely different. You know, I feel a little sad that it's all over because there was some something big about the movement. City crews pressure washed most of the spray paint that was on buildings and sidewalks, but the Black Lives Matter mural stretching down Pine Street will stay. Black Collective Voice, a group of protesters affiliated with the CHOP, issued a statement about being forced to leave. It says, in part, SPD's actions on July 1st made it clear they have no intention to change their behavior through reforming or reimagining. We must defund and reinvest. And we're waiting to learn more about a suspect Seattle police arrested after a wild chase that started on Capitol Hill and then shut down part of I-5. This happened yesterday morning about 9 o'clock. Police say the suspect, who was wanted on a felony warrant, hit an officer's car on the freeway. This video posted on Twitter shows police surrounding the suspect's car. The suspect tried to run. Officers eventually took that person into custody and no one was hurt.